Hi all. In this video, I am going to be demonstrate how we can unenroll from a Google Classroom which you already joined as a student. There is only the three steps process to unenroll the Google Classroom. That process I am going to be discuss one by one. Let's see the demonstration. The step number one for the unenrollment process. Go to classroom.google.com. See, I am already reached the classroom.google.com. So kindly check whether you log in properly in the Google Classroom. So I already logged in. That's why you are able to see the, the Google Classroom's homepage. There, the step number two, I have to click the more options, the classroom which you want to be under enrolled. That things you have to click here. So for here, I like to unenroll the classroom or the research classroom. That's why I'm I'm clicking the click more options in the research classrooms. There you might see the options called unenrollment. Then I'm going to click the unenrollment. Once I click the unenrollment, it asks the confirmation message. Unenroll from research classroom. You will be removed from this class. All your files will remain in the Google Drive. This kind of options you may see from your end. Then you can click unenrollment for the confirmations. So this is where you have to be unenroll the classes. Then when you unenroll from your class, you will no longer see it in classrooms. But all your classroom files are stored in your Google Drive. If you accidentally unenroll from your class and need to re-enroll, we already know how to join. So from this top, from the steps, you have to join once again. You cannot unenroll from a, an archived classes. Contact your teachers and ask them to unarchive the class so you can unenroll. So this is a process for unenrollment. Once again, I'm going to be highlight in a very fast manner how to unenroll. Suppose I like to unenroll the class of e workshops. So what we have to do? Click the, the three dots of the particular class. So you might see the options called unenroll. Once you click the unenrollment options, you might see these options for confirmations. So once again, if you click the unenrollment, automatically the classrooms, it not be shown in your end. So this is a process to unenroll the classroom. Thank you all. I hope this video is very useful for you to know how to unenroll from the Google Classroom as a student. Thank you all. Jai Hind.